Greetings everyone. Welcome to the first um, tutorial on R Commander where I'm trying to illustrate how one can do the basic statistics, um, descriptive statistics in R using R Commander. And the data set I'm using is from the University of Texas where um, some 94 instructors were evaluated for teaching evaluation. And uh, one of the key um, variables used to determine um, the rating or teaching evaluation was um, the looks of the instructor and the idea was that uh, the researchers wanted to see if, uh, if a professor's looks had any impact on how students rated their faculty members for teaching evaluations. And the uh, paper is uh, available both as an academic paper which is uh, copyrighted and an earlier version of the same paper is available as draft which I have uploaded uh, on, the, on the website um, which is stats are for us. So um, I'll show you how we can uh, reproduce uh, the table one uh, in the uh, in this paper using our commander. I have um, opened the, the uploaded the data set um, in the in our commander, and if I click on view data set, you could see that the data set has the following variables. Um, if the academic or the instructor is a minority person, yes or no, it's a factor variable. Uh, the age of the instructor is in years 36, 59, 51, and so on and so forth. A, a panel of six students were hired to determine the attractiveness of the instructor, and I think they were shown photographs, and um, uh, they were, um, students were asked to rank the professor on a certain scale. And what you see here in the, in the data set is the, is the normalized version where the mean beauty score is zero, and then those who are below average are negative and those who are above average will have a positive beauty score. So the ranking, um, average ranking within a course by students um, was recorded or, or taken from university records and 4.3 would be a ranking on a scale of 1 to 5 I think and um, closer to four, 5 would be um, better teaching evaluation and closer to 1 or lower would be poor teaching evaluation. Tenure is uh, another variable. If a professor is tenured, then this variable is yes. If it's, he's not tenured, he or she is not tenured, then no. And again, you notice that native and tenure are both uh, yes and no type of factor variables that can take either or uh, type of values. And these are called categorical variables as well. The next two variables tell you how many students were there in the course. So these are all students tell you that there were 43 students in the course and s number of students who responded to the survey are, are reported here under students. So students imply how many students re reported or responded to the survey, uh, the teaching evaluation survey, and all students respond to how many students were there in that class. And also this variable called uh, uh, professor, um, there were more than one course taught by each professor and hence this is a unique ID for each professor. And you will notice if I scroll down there are 94 professors and uh, so professor number 94 has taught three courses. Now, I, as I have mentioned, our goal is to reproduce the table, um, that's table one on page 371 um, in the published version of the paper, um, and um, this is basically summary statistics. So let's try to see if we could, uh, uh, re if we are able to reproduce this uh, table. I have already got the data set loaded. Um, teaching ratings and the first thing I would do is um, to get the summary uh, statistics and I can select uh, select statistics summaries active data set and the program informs me that there are 12 variables in the data set and I would I like to proceed and I proceed this is the command that the software has executed and the output window contains the results um, for each variable if it's a factor or a categorical variable such as minority, and um, you will get the tabulations only. That is, uh, 64 professors or instructors were of minority origin, whereas 399 were um, um, not minority. Similarly, um, gender, 268 male, 195 female instructors. On the other hand, if the variable is not categorical but instead a continuous variable, such as um, age, then we get the minimum age, uh, which is 29 years and the maximum is 73 years old that's um, and the average age is 48.37 
and um, all of the variables are either uh, um, categorical, division, native, tenure, credits, um, and um, the rest are um, continuous. Now you would notice that for continuous variables I am obtaining the mean but I don't get the standard deviation through this command. So the other option is to use statistics summaries, numerical summaries and all the continuous variables are listed here. Notice that no factor variables are listed here which is fine. I need the mean and the standard deviation and I don't need the quantile so I deselect those um, and I say OK. Um, here's the command that was run for numerical summaries uh, and the output is right here. Um, age is 48.3. Notice this is 10 to the power 1. And um, the average number of students in a course is 55.1. And I get the standard deviation as well. Um, so the mm, evaluation um, score, which was on average uh, uh, 3.99, this is for the course, not for the instructor. And the standard deviation is 0.55. Very comparable to the statistics listed in the um, in the in the paper and the obs number of observations 463. On average 36.6 students uh, responded to the survey and the standard deviation is 45. Now what to do of the um, factor or categorical variables? You select summaries, um, frequency distributions and then we click all of these with the exception of prof. So control select prof and that's off and everything looks fine. And here we go. So here's the output. And um, I scroll up. And same uh, as we saw earlier, um, a single credit course is 27, more credit courses 436. And here it's 5.8%. Um, 27 out of 463 is 5.8. Same is the case with uh, gender 195 female uh, instructors which equals 42.11. And this is slightly different from what we have um, in the paper because in the paper, um, this uh, percentage of female instructors was calculated for 94 instructors. And here, this is calculated for 463 professors, knowing that some of the professors taught more than one course, and hence that's the reason between behind the difference between the two. So this is how you do it. Um, this, is, um, this is sufficient to reproduce, I think, uh, this um, section which is all and if you were to report uh, results for lower division and upper divisions uh, separately um, we can do that again here in our commander we go back the statistics summaries uh, numerical summaries and this time around we click all this continuous variables but say summarized by group called division and the results are now going to be summarized by division so here are the output here's the output so the average age of the instructor teaching an upper level course is 49 and a lower level course is 47. Now how to get the um, tabulations for categorical variables, um, there's a trick involved. Now the trick is to look at the, the data set and um, you, if you want to separate them by uh, upper and lower level courses as it is the case here, um, lower division and upper division courses. So um, you have to subset the data, and the way you subset the data is uh, you go uh, data, active data set, subset active data set, and here I would type that uh, the command, and I say division, that's the variable, um, and I put double equal sign equal to upper, and this would select all instances under the variable division where it says upper, and I would like to save it as a separate data set called up. And then I say statistics, summaries, frequency distributions, and then I can say credits or gender and minority. And I say OK. And you could see that uh, um, for um, this is minority. So 10.45% teaching um, courses um, in the upper division are minority, minority, and if I do the same for lower, and I've already created that lower data set, and I say some, what happens to summaries and frequency distributions for minority, and this is only for lower level courses, and you could see that 20.4 percent faculty members teaching lower level courses are minority, so this is sort of interesting. That upper level 